in a galaxy of adventures, one person has to come up with clever ways to open every video. How you get so big to do hold of this kind? Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about Galaxy of Adventures, the new Star Wars animated web series. If you want to watch the series for yourself, I have a link to the Star Wars Kids channel in the description, as well as a link to the uh, the channel you can watch it if you are outside the U.S. So uh, you will be able to watch these regardless of where you live. If you are not familiar with what this series is, it's basically an animated retelling of some of the scenes throughout the Star Wars saga. It takes audio clips, lines from the films, and then puts them over these animated clips. Are you sure this thing is safe? If you're wondering, you know, do you want to take the time to get into yet another Star Wars series, especially yet another animated series, I can tell you, you will probably spend more time watching this review than you will spend watching the entirety of the series that's been released so far. I kept seeing clips of these on Twitter and I was like, oh, this is cool. I have to go watch the whole series. And then it turned out the clips that were on Twitter were the actual whole episodes. Basically, it's six one minute shorts that are just different scenes, like I said, from the movies. Some of them are actually not scenes that are directly out of a Star Wars film, but it's still using the audio from the Star Wars film, so no one has to worry about anyone being recast, because it's literally the same dialogue you've heard before. There will be more of these coming down the line. The idea is to release these throughout the next year, uh, culminating in the release of Star Wars Episode Nine. So it's kind of a fun way to revisit the saga going towards the end of the saga. Ostensibly, this is released for kids. I mean, it's on the Star Wars Kids channel. Uh, there was the same usual outrage uh, by about five people anytime someone's mad about a new cartoon. And uh, the, the idea of, you know, do we need more of this, like, for kids content? I gotta be honest, though. I watched it. There are things I could, I, like, I can see a little kid being into it, right? Like, if you, th you think of the kids with the kids tablet with, like, kids YouTube and they're just watching, like, the same video, just, like, Baby Shark over and over and over again. How does that go again? Baby Snoke, da do da do 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 Baby Snoke, da do da do You're welcome. This is exactly the type of thing a little kid would just kind of play on loop on their tablet and like not drive you insane because at least you're hearing Star Wars music and Star Wars lines of dialogue that you really really like. That said, this really isn't a just for kids thing and and I don't even say that in a if you're young at heart you can love it too which is the thing I say about most of the stuff I review but there's one that's a reimagining of the scene from Rogue One like the Darth Vader scene from Rogue One and it uh, doesn't pull its punches. So, to be honest, uh, I could see, like, five-year-old me being kind of terrified by these. There's one with a wampa also that was a little bit freaky. It was, like, these red glowing eyes. Like, I wouldn't say that you can't show them to your kid, but I, I, I don't think that they're made necessarily just for kids. But as far as reviewing it goes, um, I, I would say watch it. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, they're very short, they have wonderful, very vibrant art that's great to look at. It's literally content that you know you already like because it's dialogue from the films. So I don't know why you wouldn't get in on this. I, I gotta say that, I mean, it's not necessarily reinventing the wheel. It's definitely a thing to watch because you want the nostalgia of it and you want something that's fun and bright and colorful to maybe show your toddler who isn't into other things that are Star Wars. It's it's really more creative from an artistic expression and just hearing this dialogue again in, in a different kind of scene is just its own kind of art form. So with that, did you watch Galaxy of Adventures? If so, what were your favorites? Uh, personally, I liked the Darth Vader Rogue One scene myself. I, I thought that one was really, really exciting, if not a little bit scary. If you're not already, please follow us on Twitter at Port Haven Forums. Visit port-haven.com for even more. If you're not aware, we have started a Discord. A link to that is in the description as well. And until next time, keep it real and fly casual. Cooking candy fun!